you are all having a blessed day. Today we are back once again with our next project. This one is going to be a cousin of potato chip possibly. We are using two and a half inch by four and a half inch pieces of fabric and they are going to get sewn together and make a block that has a solid color in the center and I, I just think it's going to be an absolute darling project. I saw a picture of it I think on Pinterest. I went down that rabbit hole and I was gone for hours but that's what we're going to do so I'm going to set up over at the cutting table so you can see what we're doing. I have to apologize here. I had recorded a an entire intro showing you the beautiful jelly roll, going about showing you how to cut it up, telling you how many pieces you'd get out of each strip. And then I realized that the camera had not been recording. So I want to apologize for that. Okay, here is our stack of solids. This is the way that the quilt block goes together. We have a center piece here and we have pieces that go on each side three four okay this is half an inch Minus one. I don't know. Okay, this is the way the block is going to go together. It doesn't looks like it doesn't fit yet, but it does. So let me go over to the sewing machine and get this sewn up, and I'll come back and show you the sample block. This is how afraid of math I am. I tried laying this block out for you, and I thought I had measured incorrectly. I, I don't have a pattern for this. I saw a photo of it on Pinterest. And I kind of zoomed in on here and I tried to figure out math. And another thing, I can't stress this enough. Please measure all your pre-cuts before you use them because these are too big. And I laid them out here and I had a bit of a panic attack because they were too large. They went way beyond the length. So we'll go, we'll go over it again here. I'll lay it out for you. Okay, so these are large because they're not sewn together yet. We'll be losing a half inch from each piece. So it looks like it's not going to fit. And believe me, I panicked, I turned off the camera, and I checked. And it does fit. So each side of the block has six pieces sewn together. So then you'll sew this one together. And the center has your four and a half inch by eight and a half inch center. And that gets sewn together with two of the small pieces. These are the same potato chip block size pieces. They're two and a half by four and a half. And then we'll sew these together. I'm going to go sew the entire block together. I'm going to come over here and show you a sample. And then we'll go over to the sewing machine together and sew these together. Okay, now you can see how much bigger they are. That's a good, I'm saying, I'm saying it's eighth of an inch. So just trim them all down, make sure that they're the right size. If they're too small, you might want to complain to the company that you bought them from, from the, um, from the manufacturer. And if they're too large, trim them down. So I'll be back. Okay, we're over at the sewing machine, as you can see. So each block takes 14 two and a half by four and a half inch pieces and one piece that is four and a half by eight and a half. Now the first thing we're going to do is we are going to sew together our side pieces and that's six. We're sewing them down the long edge. Scant quarter inch seam. It's hard to tell which is the back and which is the front. That's the front. Boy, it's, like I said, it's very, very difficult to see what is the right side of the fabric here. See, that would have been a mistake. There we go. And, he, oops, I must have an extra piece here. Okay, I'm just going to give this a quick finger press. don't think it really makes a lot of difference which way they go. Oh, 
I am going to be finger pressing the side pieces in one direction and the center pieces in the opposite direction. So for ease of instructions, let's say we're going to press these seams up like so. And these will press in the opposite direction. And that way the two intersections that we have will nest. So you can see those nesting together right there. And once again, we are nesting our seam. And this is too long, there's too much. As you can see here, they're way off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out and I'm going to look at these seams and I'm going to shrink a couple of them up. Yeah, this one's short. So to fix that, I'm just going back through the machine and making the seam a little bit, a little bit deeper. So that will help. And let's see what it looks like now. One more could use some shortening up. That matches, I think this one. So we're just making it just a hair deeper. And that's much better now that now that nests nicely. So don't don't have don't worry about obviously if it's too short, then you know you might have to rip some things out and re-sew, but if it's too big, you can always just increase the size of the seam just a bit. And another thing is a lot of times you'll see me sewing with the block up like this, but that allows the feed dogs and the sewing machine to kind of equally suck up the excess. Okay, I'm gonna go iron this and I will be right back. Okay, here we are with our block. So again, we're going to sew two columns of six pieces each, and we're going to take our large center rectangle, and we're going to sew smaller pieces on either end, and then we're going to sew those together. It's a simple, simple pattern, and once it goes up on the wall, we will be alternating how we lay them out. So one will go with this rectangle vertically, and the next one will go with it horizontally. And It'll be very, very striking. I have our stack of blocks ready to go. All right, so I'm gonna sew these together chain style. It's gonna be slightly disjointed chain style because I will be taking them off and putting them back in. That way, one block stays together. It's not as smooth a process as a potato chip block. There are stops and starts. Okay, and this is the last part of the first block. So there is the centerpiece. And it's one side, and I am nesting the seam. Let's see if you can see it. Okay, that's one side. Now we'll do the other side. And again nesting seam at the top and the seam at the bottom. Whatever happens in between, don't worry. That is the basic construction. It's not quite as efficient as doing a potato chip block, but there we have it. There is another block and yeah, the, some of the, my seams are a little off, but that's okay. That's okay. So I am going to continue in this fashion. And see, I have a little little fullness here that I'm trying to work out. But if I hold this up like this, the feed dogs will suck it all in for you. another block. Okay, YouTube, this one's done. This is a quick project, I'll tell you. I think it 
I think it may actually work up a little bit faster than a potato chip. So let's go in for a close up. This is a delightful jelly roll. And there's the inspector. So here we are, YouTube. Here's a real quick project that you can do. And like I said, I found it on Pinterest. I went down that rabbit hole and stayed there for a long time. If you can get yourself a close-up of a block that you've seen that you'd like to try, you can pretty much figure it out on your own. This one was very, very easy. It's just columns of two and a half by four and a half inch pieces. And then there is this four and a half by eight and a half piece there. So it works up great and it looks great when you alternate, when you rotate the block. And I had a blast doing this. It worked up real fast. And I want to thank you all so very much for coming along with me on this project. I want to thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and watching my silly little videos and leaving your kind comments. I do so appreciate it. Come back for my very next project coming to you real soon. Once again, I'd like to thank you all for watching my video and please do go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me if you wouldn't mind. And I will see you real soon right back here at 70 Acre Studio. Take care of yourselves. Have a blessed weekend and I will see you real soon. God bless. Good night, Elizabeth. Good night, cowboy.